OpenAI is getting ready to launch a new AI tool that could change how we think about artificial intelligence. It's called Operator, and unlike the current generation of chatbots, Operator isn't just here to respond to questions or generate answers. It's an AI agent designed to complete real tasks on computers with almost no human input. We're talking about booking travel, coding, organizing complex workflows, all by itself. And while it's not yet available to the public, OpenAI plans to release Operator as a research preview in January, with developers getting early access through an API. Operator is part of a bigger shift happening in the AI industry, where tech companies are looking to create AI that can take on multi-step tasks and operate independently. OpenAI has some serious competition here. Anthropic recently introduced an AI with similar capabilities that can handle tasks like building websites and editing spreadsheets. Microsoft, too, has rolled out its own set of agent tools that can handle emails and manage records. And it's also supporting an open source AI project called Magentic One, aimed at making these kinds of tools accessible for everyone to build on. Google, not wanting to be left behind, has its own AI agent coming soon as well. It's clear that all the big players see agent-based AI as the future, with each company racing to be at the forefront. This shift toward agent-based AI is a strategic move for companies like OpenAI. Building more advanced AI models alone isn't yielding the returns it used to. The costs are high, and incremental improvements just aren't bringing enough value to justify them. So OpenAI and others are betting on these autonomous AI agents like Operator to provide that next big leap. They're hoping that agents with practical, real-world applications can justify the massive investments being poured into AI development. OpenAI's CEO, Sam Altman, hinted at this shift recently in a Reddit AMA, saying that while models will keep improving, the real breakthrough will come from agents. OpenAI's chief product officer, Kevin Wilde, doubled down on this idea at the company's dev day, saying he expects 2025 to be the year agent-based systems go mainstream. So what's the deal with Operator? It's designed to work directly within a web browser, meaning it can jump from one tab to another, carry out multi-step instructions, and complete a series of actions just as a human assistant might. Say you're booking a flight, you could tell Operator what kind of flight you're looking for and it would handle the rest, finding options, filtering according to your preferences, selecting the best option, and even paying if you've authorized it. The idea is that this tool could eventually become a real digital assistant, executing tasks automatically without needing constant prompts. But here's something you might not have thought about yet. While tools like Operator are on the brink of changing how we work, there's also an opportunity here for anyone interested in securing their future in this new world. In a time when jobs can be uncertain, the smartest move might be building skills that create multiple income streams, and that's where Growth School steps in. They're offering a three-hour hands-on AI training where you'll learn over 25-plus AI tools that can help you start earning up to an extra $10,000 each month. This training isn't just for tech experts. It's designed for everyone, from finance professionals and marketers to students and entrepreneurs. Even better, this usually paid training is free for the first 1,000 AI Revolution viewers. You'll also get a $500 bonus with additional resources to kickstart your journey. It covers everything from job hunting strategies and salary negotiation techniques to mastering Excel and creating content. Growth School has already helped millions around the world upskill, and this could be your step toward joining the top 1% in an AI-first world. So click the link in the description, snag your free spot, and this is your only chance to learn those skills that'll secure your future. Don't forget to join Growth School's WhatsApp community to not miss any updates and meet other AI enthusiasts just like you. All right, back to OpenAI. The way Operator works is intriguing, as it uses something called probabilistic decision-making. Unlike basic automation, which follows strict rules, Operator can adapt and respond to real-time outcomes. If it encounters a hiccup or something unexpected, it can adjust and keep going rather than getting stuck. Andy Tharai from Constellation Research explains that this kind of adaptability is what sets agentic AI apart. It's not just following instructions step by step, but is capable of making small decisions and adjustments along the way, much like a human assistant might. Now, as I said, Anthropic has already introduced AI tools that can take on complex tasks autonomously. For example, their agents can handle detailed computer tasks, create websites, and even work with data management. Microsoft's Magnetic One, an open source AI platform, is focused on making agent-based AI accessible, letting developers customize it for different workflows and applications. 
This shift across the industry is a clear sign that agentic AI, not traditional chatbots, is the next big thing. Google is also in the race, expected to launch its AI agent soon, aiming for similar functionality. This all leads to some pretty big implications. Imagine a customer service department where an AI handles everything, responding to questions, processing requests, even helping customers complete transactions. Salesforce has already released AI agents for these kinds of tasks, and companies like ServiceNow and Cisco are introducing agents that handle routine service work. These agents don't just increase productivity, they could transform how work is done across entire industries, shifting the focus from manual, repetitive tasks to more strategic, high-value activities. Of course, with this shift come some ethical and practical challenges. An autonomous AI agent like Operator raises questions about privacy, accountability, and potential biases. What happens if Operator makes a wrong call? If it misinterprets instructions or acts on faulty data, there's a risk of unintended consequences. Experts are increasingly calling for transparency in AI operations, especially when it comes to autonomous decision-making. There's a growing push for regulatory guidelines that ensure AI agents act responsibly and in users' best interests, balancing innovation with oversight. Another major consideration is the impact on the job market. These AI agents are designed to handle tasks traditionally done by people, and if they're widely adopted, job displacement becomes a real concern. To address this, there's been a push for workforce retraining programs to help people move into new roles as AI takes over certain tasks. OpenAI itself has suggested initiatives like AI-focused economic zones in the US, which would use high-tech investment to boost local economies and create jobs that complement AI rather than being replaced by it. And then there's the issue of accessibility. There's a risk that these powerful AI tools might only be available to big corporations with the resources to integrate them, potentially deepening the divide between large companies and smaller businesses or individual users. Policymakers are discussing how to ensure that advanced AI like Operator benefits a broad range of people, not just those at the top of the economic ladder. Energy consumption is another challenge facing AI developers. OpenAI recently pointed out that running these large AI models requires substantial energy. In a policy draft, they've suggested that the US invest in renewable energy sources to meet the rising power demands of AI. As these autonomous agents become more prevalent, the infrastructure needed to support them will also need to grow. OpenAI sees renewable energy as a key solution to keep AI systems sustainable and reduce their environmental impact. Public reaction to Operator has been a mix of excitement and caution. There's clear interest in the potential of AI to handle complex tasks, making everyday life easier. But there's also concern around privacy and ethics. As AI agents take on more responsibilities, the public wants to know that these systems are trustworthy, transparent, and accountable. These concerns reflect the bigger questions society faces about how to integrate AI responsibly. With Operator's January release as a research preview, developers will get first access through an API, allowing OpenAI to gather feedback and refine the tool. This staged rollout will help them test how Operator integrates into different applications and ensure that it meets user needs effectively. For industries ranging from customer service to software development and healthcare, this is just the beginning of what could be a major shift in how businesses operate. Operator is, in many ways, a signal of where AI technology is headed. As we move from simple chatbots to agents that perform real tasks independently, the potential for AI to reshape everyday work becomes clear. Instead of just responding to commands, Operator and similar tools can actively complete processes, manage workflows, and help optimize tasks that take up time and resources. The larger trend toward agentic AI reflects a shift in how AI labs and companies like OpenAI, Anthropic, and Microsoft are thinking about the future. It's not just about creating smarter models anymore. It's about designing tools that are useful, practical, and applicable in real-world situations. By focusing on AI agents that can act on information, the industry is opening up new possibilities for what AI can achieve. But this future is complex. As AI becomes more capable, society will have to adapt, finding a balance between innovation and the ethical concerns that come with autonomous systems. The full impact of agentic AI on work, privacy, and economics remains to be seen. But one thing is clear. As OpenAI's operator gets closer to launch, the world of AI is evolving fast, and it's setting the stage for an AI-driven future that's far more integrated into daily life. And that's the full rundown on OpenAI's operator. How do you see tools like this changing how we work? If you enjoyed this breakdown, 
Hit like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates on the latest in AI. Thanks for watching, and catch you in the next one.